Okay, so this is Hasty. I don't know if any of you ever heard of Hasty or earned wage access, people getting paid as they work, yeah? Okay, so that's what we do. We started as a, um, the pioneers in the UK and Europe, uh, European markets offering uh, people the ability to get paid as they work, having access to their earnings in real time. Why is this relevant? Because there's a lot of people that uh, have a hard time uh, getting to the next pay cycle because they have to pay for things, they have to um, afford cost of living, and and you know sometimes it's just it's just not easy. Welcome in, don't be shy. <laughs> so um, so what we did at Hasty was copy a U.S.-based model which allowed workers to get paid as they go. After starting, we realized that the corporate benefits space where employees get benefits from their employers has evolved a lot. And there's one single piece in this employee um, benefits space that has gained a lot of traction over the past few years, especially post-pandemic, which is financial health. Financial health is the uh, very, very important root cause of poor mental health. is the number one root cause of poor mental health. And last month, just last month of May, was the month of mental health awareness. And we uh, at Hasty, of course, were very engaged trying to explain employers out there how important it is for their employees to have uh, mental health, which uh, as a, sorry, financial health, which as a result uh, provides better mental health. When you are financially stressed, you worry about money, and then it's even harder to get out of this cycle. And uh, what we uh, try to do is taking on the experience and the uh, um, research done by these major firms, trying to explain employers that if they want to take care of their employees, they need to help them with their financial well-being. And this is key. EY says that financial stress costs organizations an average of $3,000 in um, uh, yeah, um, workplace-related issues per employee per year. That's due to absenteeism, employee turnover, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a very important uh, cost factor for organizations. What we've done since we were founded was evolve to be able to provide um, organizations with a financial well-being platform for their employees. So it's not only about earned wage access and getting uh, your money before payday. It's about providing financial well-being to the staff so organizations can take an active role in developing that, uh, that mental health of their teams. The way we understand this is very simple. If you're financially stressed, you have personal problems. Those personal problems generate distractions at work because you're worried about money. They produce more absenteeism, more sick days, lower productivity, et cetera, et cetera, which in the end turns into these high uh, hidden costs I mentioned before. What do we do? Provide an app that includes a number of features and services that help employers help their employees achieve better financial health. And we do it targeting three pillars of financial well-being, which is fair access to liquidity, so people can access money when they have money shortfalls. It's about financial literacy. People are making wrong decisions constantly when they are tight, economically speaking, because they don't have the proper, um, let's say, ground of, of understanding of financial topics. And then third, help to save. So with all of this together, we go to employers, and apart from helping their staff, we also help them. We help them understand monitor and act upon their employees' financial well-being. This is one of the aspects that make employers happy to work with us, because they get insights that otherwise they wouldn't have access to. We're giving them the uh, health um, index, uh, financial health index of their staff, and a lot of insights into what their staff are asking in terms of questions they have about their finances, kind of content they read on financial education, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, apart from a lot of uh, numbers on how many people are getting paid before month end and why is that happening? We work with uh, very large companies. As you can see, most of them are, um, yeah, enterprise level accounts. These companies have chosen Hasty to provide financial well-being to their employees, and we've signed over half a million employees so far. And this, uh, this is the example that this niche we are working on, which is financial well-being, has just started. These are the early adopters of financial well-being solutions, and then the rest will come. 
when we engage with uh, one of these customers, the way we get the service up and running is very simple. First, we integrate with their payroll systems. We have over 70 integrations running with any HRM, um, time and attendance, workforce management system, etc. And then we retrieve employee data. We know who's working, who's not, what money they're making, etc. Next, we send the invitation out to the employees so they gain access to the service. Once they install the Hasty app and register, they immediately can access their accrued earnings. So if you work today, at the end of today, you will see your earnings um, added to the Hasty balance. If you work shifts and you just complete a shift and walk out the door of the restaurant where you work, right after the shift, you'll see the shift value as part of your available balance. So anyone has free access to their earnings uh, in, re um, in real time. <clears throat> then what happens is that when employees request the funds, it's not the employer that needs to do anything. It's us, Hasty. we have a debt facility. We fund all the pay advances to all the employees when they request the money. Then we send it to their bank accounts instantly. The employer doesn't have to do anything. And at the end of the month, when the employer does uh, payroll, we push all the deductions to their uh, payroll system. So they pay salaries normally, deducting the amounts that were advanced already by the employees. And they give me or Hasty the <laughs> total uh, amount withdrawn by their employees, plus the fees on top. And we close the cycle. And it's a 30-day cycle that starts in the next um, uh, following first of the month again. We do this, of course, with a lot of security measures. We are ISO 27001 certified, and this helps employers feel confident about the way we're managing their data. And this is how the product looks like now. You can turn up the volume, please. <laughs> Thank you. You will see now we're pitching it a bit broader. It's more about the financial well-being platform concept. seen a number of features that go beyond accessing wages. So, for example, when we talk about the, the app, now it's a platform. When we talk about earned wage access, it's obvious you get paid whenever you want. But then we add layers and layers on top to provide financial well-being. So education, for example. We are, we are partnered with Nudge, which is the largest financial education um, provider for employees globally. The Nudge platform is embedded in Hasty. Every user, when they register, they select certain areas of interest, they build a profile, and then we target content, nudges, uh, tips, tools, so then they can um, better their understanding of financial topics thanks to this uh, content and platform. We have a health check, a health checkup that we run on um, employees frequently, where they are scored on different areas of financial well-being. And <laughs> and <laughs> I thought it was a joke. Sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> that happens all the time. Oh, interesting. Maybe if there's no presentation after this one, maybe you can just come up here and, <laughs> and tell us about it. It'd be interesting. No, no, it's fine. Don't worry. So um, the financial health checkup, it's basically um, a check that we run on employees that provides them a score on different areas of their financial state. And then we feed that score back to employers so they have a, a, a health index to look at. And at the same time, we uh, give employees tools and content to improve the areas where they scored the least. We do, for example, have a benefits calculator, which is super cool because people just go into the app, they fill the details uh, that we request from them, and we find benefits that they could have claimed, but they didn't, that represent on average around 500 pounds extra income per month for those who have benefits unclaimed, which is just crazy good as a benefit, and that's all within the app. 
discounts. We offer discounted vouchers and, and direct discounts on most of the brands you can imagine for day-to-day -day spending, so people can save some money and put on the side uh, some savings. We have uh, the first financial assistant for, um, uh, for this industry based on AI, where people can just go ask whichever questions they have on anything finance, and the chat gets the answers um, straight to them in a very, very nice chat experience. Uh, or things like this, which is, um, again, very cool. Sorry to say I'm very proud of it. Uh, it was my idea five years ago. <laughs> it just went live now. But um, it took time, but it's, it's a great thing to have. Imagine you get, you're paid monthly, and that doesn't work with your life. You would love to get paid weekly. So you have two options. You can choose to go to an employer that pays you weekly, or if you have Hasty, you can just open Hasty, subscribe to weekly salary, and from that moment onwards, your employer doesn't have to do anything. We will pay you every week, and at the end of the month, we will uh, consolidate with your employer. We advance the funds, we do everything, technology is speaking, and the employer can offer weekly salary, fortnightly salary, any kind of salary frequency pay to their staff as a benefit at no cost and no hassle for them. So it's, yeah, I think it's very, very cool. Um, in terms of the boost this generates uh, for attraction, retention, engagement metrics, it's quite obvious. A lot of people want flexibility around pay, and no wonder why. Everybody's financially stressed at a point, so having this flexibility just helps. Uh, um, in in, in uh, yeah day-to-day -day, uh, expenses, that number 72% is quite interesting. Companies using uh, Hasty who have shift workers have seen a 72% on average uptake of shifts, just because people now realize that if they work a shift, they can get paid right after the shift. So they say, okay, so if I work three more hours, I can get paid three more hours at the end of uh, of today. So this uptake in shifts is a great benefit for those companies uh, employing contingent workers. In terms of what users tell us, every time they cash out, we ask them, so what, why did you need money? How did we help you today? This is what people say. Unexpected events is most of the use cases. Imagine your car breaks down today, you needed to go to work, or you, you need to go to the dentist, or whatever. So, the fact that you have access to liquidity if you don't have a balance in your account um, is a lifesaver because then you can face that, that payment. Same for bills and rent. If there's a due date on a certain payment and you don't have liquidity, what do you do? You do overdrafts, you do um, um, yeah, credit card, whatever. In this case, we're saving people from paying overdraft fees and, uh, and late fees. And also for groceries, which is day-to-day -day expenses everybody needs to, <laughs> needs to eat. And what people don't need anymore, it's loans from friends, overdrafts, uh, credit cards, etc. And that's what they tell us, so we are, we're happy, we think we're, we're doing the right thing. In terms of adoption, we are either number one or number two most used employee benefit in every customer we work with. That is over 40% adoption on average. And this is uh, helping us have this um, NPS, which is outstanding, uh, having a great rating from our users, and then, of course, having people say that they feel much better ever since they have hasty to manage their personal lives. So, great metrics. And what is next? I mentioned before we're working with very large companies. It started with frontline employees, like uh, McDonald's or Taco Bell, etc. cetera. Uh, but lately, we've signed Accenture or EY. What is happening is that this is getting... Uh, universal, and by I mean, the way we can help make this kind of solutions universal to all employers and all employees out there is by opening up to SMEs. We couldn't do it before because we were working with enterprise customers, but now we build a platform to go after SMEs. So any company of any size will be able to use Hasty and to offer it to their employees uh, with a very simple 24-hour hour, go-live tested SaaS business model. So we're making this universal. And second, just imagine this, and with this I'm closing. At the moment, we have over 1.5 billion pounds of salaries going through our platform every year. But we are only, um, let's say, touching 7% of that, which is what people are cashing out thanks to Hasty. So that's around 100 million pound loan book we have at the moment. But we have a very unfair advantage here. We are touching the salary for 30 days, before it even becomes salary, before it's deposited in the bank account. So during those 30 days that we have access to the, to the salary, 
we can do many things. But we can do many things respecting uh, that we are a fintech for good, we're making money, but we're trying to help. So we have in ethical, inclusive uh, services that we can offer to improve people's lives and to give them a better rate than what they get at the market, just for the obvious reason that I am not, I, I don't have employee risk, I have employer risk. I'm lending money to the employers, not to the employees. Therefore, my risk profile is very low, and I treat exactly the same in terms of risk. The CEO of McDonald's and the last employee shift worker that just joined the company, they represent exactly the same risk for me, because my risk is McDonald's, it's not them. So I can offer very, very, very inclusive financial services to a lot of people who are usually left out of the market. And that's something that we are going to do by adding more and more services that will help us capture more, a bigger share of wallet of, of those salaries before they even become salaries and give a lot of people access to things that otherwise they wouldn't have access to. Last but not least, we are uh, very focused on our ESG uh, roadmap. We are trying to help employers um, tick the box of their ESG practices. Earn wage access has been uh, very relevantly associated with um, the S in ESG, with the social part. We help remove high cost credit or need for high cost credit, help people budget better, etc. We are already regulating this industry together with the FCA. We wrote the code of best practice trying to make sure that any entrants into this industry are following certain guidelines so there is no craziness and people start doing um, stupid things, uh, trying to take advantage of people. So that's why we work with the FCA to put in place this code of conduct and we are all watching what others do. And last, of course, we're partnered with uh, charities and government and institutions, et cetera, to be, uh, to be on the forefront of, of these inclusive uh, financial uh, services. And that's all for me today. Uh, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you very much for joining and for um, staying uh, uh, here during this presentation. We are fundraising, of course, if there are uh, investors in the room, uh, that's my email. You can contact me anytime. You can also contact me via the NOAA platform. Uh, if you want to know more, I'll be around today and tomorrow. Happy to speak with anyone about anything. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.